Hi, this is Jake for BandLab. You can give your tracks a different energy and feel depending on what type of bass line you use. In this video, we'll show you how to derive three different types of bass lines from one chord progression. Following the root, creating counter melody, and using an ostinato. You can open this project yourself with the link in the video description. And if you find this guide useful, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to know when new videos drop. Let's begin by making a drum part and a chord progression to work with. I set the project tempo to 124 BPM and the project key to G minor. To quickly make a drum part, I open BandLab Sounds, enter House into the text search field, and open the classic House pack. I set the instrument filter to drum and drag House of Sound Beat into the project. I set this track to minus 6 dB to give me more headroom to add other elements to the mix. Next, I add a virtual instrument track, which is set to the Grand Piano Instrument by default. And I turn this track down to minus 9 dB to balance it with the drum beat. I compose a chord progression. This plays G minor 7, F major 7, G minor 7, and E flat major 7. For our first bass line, I'm going to start out as simply as possible. I add a new virtual instrument track and set it to synth basses, deep house. This bass sound has a solid low end with some harmonics in the mid range too, which will help it sound rhythmic. I set this track to minus 6 dB. I begin sequencing a bass line that simply follows the root notes of the chords. G, F, G, and E flat. This bass line gives the mix extra weight thanks to all that low end energy we're adding but it doesn't really have any rhythm at all. So let's add some rhythm. I add notes so that the bass plays on dotted eighth notes for the first three beats, with eighth notes on the last beat. Now we have a weighty low end, plus a rhythm that helps the track feel danceable. Following the root notes is a great way to go if you want to keep things because you have, say, a complex melody or vocal in your project. However, in this simple project, we have plenty of room for a more involved bass line. Let's try a counter melody style bass line next. I'm using the same rhythm as before, and for the first chord, I'm sticking with the root note. For the second chord, I take the bass up to the third, A. This gives the bass an upward movement as opposed to the downward movement we get when we follow the root notes. I'd like to continue that upward movement. So I transpose the third chord up to the third two. That's B flat. For the final chord, I again want to continue this upward movement. The notes of the final chord are E flat, G, B flat, D. Heading up to the seventh, D doesn't feel right to me. So instead, I go to the major sixth, C. This degree of the scale isn't voiced in the chord, but let's hear how it sounds. That feels right to me, and ultimately, that's what's important. This counter melody style bass line is more involved than simply following the root of the chords, but it's still relatively simple. For our final bass line, let's try something a little more complicated an ostinato. An ostinato is a repeated phrase that plays throughout, and in this case, I'm going to transpose it for each chord. Here I'm going to change up the rhythm and the melody of the bass line. For the first chord, I play the root for a dotted eighth note, the third for a dotted eighth note, and the fifth for an eighth note. I then repeat this. 
This gives the bass line a rolling melodic feel. I could use the technique of sounding out the root, third, and fifth for the whole chord sequence. That would sound like this. That's fine, but I want to retain something of the uplifting counter melody feeling I had. So for the second chord, I play the third, fifth, and octave. For the third chord, I continue the upward movement with the third and fifth, but I use the seventh rather than the octave to give this part of a bass line a cooler feel. For the final chord, I don't want to use lots of high notes because I want to maintain the bass line's weight in the low end. So I just use the root, third, and fifth. This bass line gives us the rolling feel of an ostinato, and the varying of the scale degrees used gives it an expressive quality that enhances the emotional impact of the piece. As you can hear, changing up the style of your bass line, even using the same instrument, can give you a variety of different vibes. Remember, you can fork this project yourself and make your own version of it using the link in the video description.